Well, I'm going to show you how to get started with Python and Flask. Uh, we start off by getting a PowerShell window up, and to do that I'm just typing PowerShell in at the Start menu. And here's my PowerShell window. First thing I want to do is check that Python is available. Um, and I type in Python on the command prompt, and I get a big no, it's not there. So I'm going to open the control panel and sort that out. So here's the control panel. I have to go to, I think it's System and Advanced. My System. And I want Advanced Settings. And in Advanced Settings, I want uh, Environment Variables. So I can change this for all users down here, or I can just add one for myself. So the Environment Variable we want is Path. And that, uh, the value I want is C slash Python. 27 and I picked that because I've already installed Python. If I look at my C drive um, on the C drive here I've got Python 27 and that's all the software that I need for Python is in is actually on my machine I just can't get it to it from the command line. So adding that to my path this is a one-time operation. Do that, do that, say OK. This shell won't know Python still but if I exit that and start a fresh one then it shouldn't know it. So I'll open a new PowerShell. Uh, there we go. Change the size again. So here I've got PowerShell going. And now when I type in Python, everything works. Let's just check everything's OK. What is 6 times 7? 6 times 7, 42, just what I thought it was. OK. Uh, other stuff that I'm going to need. So I need JSON. Now JSON is almost always there import JSON, so that's there. I'll also need Flask. So import, uh, I think it's bigger Flask. And it's saying there's no such thing as Flask. Let's just try Flask lowercase. Nope, there's definitely no Flask. So I'm going to need Flask. So I come out of Python and I have to install Flask. Okay, so command to install Flask is pip. So I type in pip Flask and it doesn't know what pip is, so I'm going to have to install pip. Install pip so I can install flask, install... Yeah, okay, how do I install pip? Uh, apparently I can do this with python git pip.py Oh, okay, that's no good. I just checked and apparently that get pip is in my scripts directory, so I'll give it the full name c slash python 2.7 scripts um, Turns out I don't have that script, so I'm going to have to get hold of it. Uh, I need the get pip script and I found a website that claims to have it. I'm going to um, open that and I'm going to save it. I don't want to save it there, I'm going to make a directory. Um, yep, make a directory. Okay, and I'm going to go into that directory. World is where I'm going to be working. And so I'm going to get that script. So I'm uh, from my web page here, I found. I found the get pip script and I'm going to save that. Save as. And I'm going to put this on the H drive in world. And I'm going to save it as a Python file. So get pip.py, save that. So now I should be able to run that. So Python. Okay, that didn't work. Trying the save command again. Uh, I must have done something wrong. It should be saving on the H drive now. Uh, let's hope that worked. So it looks like get pip is there now. Try it again. Python get pip. Okay, now it seems to be doing something. With a bit of luck, I have pip installed. I'll pause the video because it looks like it's taking a while. Pip seems to have been installed. Let's try it. Pip. No, Pip doesn't exist. What a pain. Okay. 
Okay, so pip has been installed, uh, but it's gone into the scripts directory, which means I have to go back into control panel. This is working out to be way harder than I thought it was going to be. Back into this, and I've got to add something else to my path to make that work. So what was it? System. And then advanced settings. And then environment variables. And I've already got a path in there, so I'm going to edit that. So that's what it is at the moment. I also want it to be c colon slash python27 slash scripts. Not sure if it needs a trailing slash. Let's put it in anyway. Okay, so semicolon separates the two parts of the path. And click OK. And OK again. And it still won't be in here, I don't think. Nope, but if I start a new PowerShell, it should be available in that one. Come on, work this time. So here's my new PowerShell. Let's try pip. Lovely. Okay, so pip's there. So, I've got Python installed. I've got it in my path. I've got pip ready to go. Close that window down. Um, and if you remember what I was trying to do, I wanted to do Python, and then I wanted to import Flask. Okay, and that didn't work. So I'll use pip to install Flask. And pip goes away and does its magic. And it should install path, install Flask. Um, and so everything uh, will work and I'll be ready to go. Okay, so I installed a few things there. Let's try it. my commands again. So there's Python and import Flask. No, nope, maybe it's lowercase. Yes, import Flask. That worked fine. Okay, so uh, we've got our software installed. We've got Python installed. We've got F Flask installed. Uh, we've got pip installed. We didn't particularly want pip in, but we needed that to get Flask. And we're ready to get started. So in the next video, we'll do a kind of a hello's, hello world in Flask.